Hey guys, it's Susie Lolly, and in this video, we're going to talk about our very first episode of the Canvas for Little series. I did a recording from NCCE in Seattle in 2019, and you guys had a really hard time seeing the screen. So what I've decided to do is break those pieces down into little videos that I'm going to be launching every Tuesday and Thursday over the summer. So in today's video, we're going to talk about uh, shortening up and simplifying your sidebar, your navigation bar for your students and parents in Canvas. Stay tuned. So why would you even want to simplify your sidebar? Well, y'all look, take a look at this screenshot that I have in the middle of my screen. And this is just from the free Canvas account. If you're in a district-based account, you could have tons of more options here. And when a parent or a student comes in to look at this, it's crazy town, just too many things. And I want you to think about, especially in our virtual learning, blended learning, whatever it is you're doing lately, that learning from home is already hard. So kids are already confused, they're already distracted, they're already wallowing on, the, wallowing on the floor and their parents have to pick them up. So think of the parents, give the parents and the students some peace of mind, make it very clear where they need to go and where they don't need to go because those unused options are basically clutter. Like I'm looking through right now and I'm thinking of at least five or six that I could get rid of right now. So you wanna know how to do that? Well, that's what this video is for, stay tuned. As I'm recording this, this is really advice that I would give to anybody, but especially those of you who have primary grades students. They just need it really simple, and so that's what this whole video series is going to be about. But if you're watching this and you don't teach K through 2, just listen up anyway because this is going to be a good tip for you. So if you want to simplify your sidebar, like right over here, you can tell that I have certain things hidden um, or there's no content in them. So there's by default, they're hidden for students. But you can see that I have tons of options. If you'll go down to the very last one, which is settings... Do, 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 do. I feel like as soon as I tell you not, yep, yeah, I was about to not make you wait, but then it, it came. And then if you'll go to the third option, which is navigation, I like to do this a certain way, but you can do it. You can click the three dots here and say move or disable, but here's what I like to do, because sometimes this list is super long. I go to the very bottom, and do you see where it says right here, drag items here to hide them from students? That's exactly what I do. I just start dragging, like I don't need them to do rubrics or to see that. If they take quizzes, I'm going to put those in a module, which we'll talk about in this video series. I don't want to do standards as a separate tab. I don't want to do my syllabus there. Y'all, really, you're going to see that I simplify almost everything because I can still get to all the buttons. I'm the teacher, but also because I'm going to be a fan of modules, which I'm going to drag right back up here. And really, everything I want them to get, whether it's a quiz or a page or a file, whatever it is, I'm going to organize that into a module so they can see it, but they don't have to click in 15 different places to see it, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to leave everything there, except I'm actually going to drag out assignments too, because again, I put those in modules. So you can see I really like a very simple sidebar, and then I can add back tools as I feel like I need them. Now, here's a big thing. You want to come down to the bottom, make sure you save, because if you don't, all those fun changes you just made don't stick. Now, you're going to notice right now on the left-hand side, it looks exactly the same for me, but in the next little clip, I'll show you what it's going to look like for the students. There are so many things to love about Canvas, but one of the ones I love is that you can try everything as a student. You can go in as a sample student, see what grades look like, what assignments look like. Um, you can't do that everywhere, and I'm not going to name any other products where you can't. But basically, on every page now, it didn't always, it wasn't always this way, but there's a little pair of glasses that says student view. So if I click student view, I'm still in my navigation, but you could have found that on the home page as well. You'll notice that now I have home grades modules, that's it. Now you'll notice that I had announcements turned on. Because I don't have any content in there yet, it has disabled for students. It doesn't, again, want them to have a button to click that has nothing in it. Um, and, but you can always see things in student view and you can see how simple that sidebar is. Okay, good, it's trying to give me a tutorial. <laughs> But uh, it also will draw a big pink box around the whole screen to let you know you're in student view. So if you try to do something as a teacher and you're like, this is not working for me, it's because you're in student view and you can just leave that. When I leave student view and go back, there's a plane flying overhead. I'm filming outdoors. Um, when you leave to go back, you'll notice I, as the teacher, still have all these buttons. I can add content at any time. I can see them at any time, but it's not cluttering up for my students. So again, if we're putting on the lens of Canvas for Littles, we're thinking of the parents and students, not just what's easy for us. And then we'll get a lot fewer questions, a lot less stress. Everybody will be happy. Hey guys, I put my heart into these videos, so I hope you loved it. I hope you've loved all of them. But if you haven't, then make sure you go back and watch the previous videos. I'm making playlists for you all the time. So if you're somebody who wants time savers, there's a playlist for that. If you want to gamify, playlist for that. And all of my themes of my blog. So did you like it? Go ahead and click the thumb below. 
If you really liked it, I'd love if you shared it on your favorite social media channel. I'm at Suzy Lolly on Twitter. And then finally, my very favorite is if you subscribe. Subscribe to YouTube and subscribe on the blog. Take care.